have to ask for more than what you want. Kids are very good negotiators and also nibblers. We have to know to co how to convince them instead of threatening. What is negotiation? Negotiation means the act of dealing with others to reach an agreement. We have two types of negotiations. Win-win, which is a long-term strategy, and win-lose, which is a short-term strategy. What about the criteria of a good negotiator? Patient, empathetic, charismatic, good communicator, good listener, emotionally stable, being able to work under pressure, optimistic, and flexible. We have two expressions that we have to understand in negotiation, position versus interest. Position is what people need. Interest, the reason behind this need. For example, if you have two kids, both of them need an orange, and you have only one orange. Usually when we ask this question to any person, the answer is divide the orange into two halves and give each half to a child. The ideal answer here is to ask each child about the reason of this need. Maybe the first one will say that I need to eat the orange. The second one will say that I need the pulp of the orange to make a cake. In this case, dividing the orange is not the optimal solution. What about the negotiation positions? We have three negotiation positions. Opening position, target position, and minimum position. The space between the opening and the minimum is called the negotiation space. Types of data to be used during the negotiation. We have either subjective or objective data. Subjective data, it means that we negotiate according to our assumptions and emotions. While objective data, it means negotiation based on facts. So, we have to use objective data in negotiation with our kids. If you use subjective data, you will behave in a management style. While if you use an objective data, you will behave in a leader style. Parents and teachers should use the leader style, not the manager style. What if you reach a dead end with your child in negotiation? Here is the importance of including a third party. A third party in negotiation is called a mediator. A mediator is a person who is going to interfere between you and your child. What about the criteria of the ideal mediator? Should be honest, fair, expert, have good knowledge about both parties, and finally, he has to be unbiased. <laughs>